next on our list is Shri Kozicheri. I hope I got the name right. Shri is joining us from cs for all And Shri, why don't you take it away? Tell us what you have for us today. Thank you, Doreen. Um, hi, everyone. Good afternoon. I'm Shri Kozicheri. I'm the, the Senior Manager for Community Engagement at cs for all um, well, I'm, I'm really excited to be here. Um, Madlearn and cs for all has had a very, very important partnership, um, both as a commitment maker as well as a member. Um, and I'm honored to be representing cs for all today uh, and excited to see the many possibilities of the impact of this new uh, Madlearn app that holds for all the CS learners. Um, well, uh, to begin with, uh, the CS for All uh, is an organization. Um, as an organization, it's a central resource for all individuals and organizations that are interested in K-12 uh, computer science education. Um, and we have a specific uh, membership model through which we strive to bring together the full ecosystem of all K-12 organizations and individuals, uh, be it uh, content providers, schools, school districts, uh, department of education, funders, um, researchers, uh, and um, teacher preparation programs, like all of them uh, who are working towards the goal of providing quality uh, CS, high quality CS education for every child in the US. Um, so the, the member model, uh, the membership model was built um, with, and right now we have about 800, uh, more than 800 organizations and researchers. And through this, we aim to grow, engage and connect with this community. Um, at national, regional, and local level uh, to, to deliver a scaled impact that's measurable as well. Um, as you can see here, um, uh, it's been six years of a CS4ALL. Uh, in 2016 and 17, uh, when we began, it was a member consortium. And from there, uh, we have had a history of evolution. Uh, we began member engagement and started uh, the, the summit program, which is our annual uh, convening of all, mem all, all the, the cs for all not just for members, but everyone within the, the CS community. Uh, we uh, launched a new ways of um, communication through Slack. Uh, in 2019, uh, we had a whole new website uh, and like specific guidelines for being a CS for all member. Uh, we also aligned a commitments program uh, in, in line with BB Summit. Uh, in 2020, um, it, as a, you all know, it was a year of pause. It was the pandemic, everyone uh, went virtual and so did we. Um, and this gave us a space to, to be more focused on uh, commitment stories and uh, understanding what the, what the impact stories are here. Uh, and then of course in 2021, uh, we fleshed out more um, member specific summit engagement opportunities. And finally last year, um, we, are, we worked towards like building a member portal uh, which we'll be uh, launching soon uh, and have developed a new member strategy, which we hope to implement through this portal. Um, yeah, so we began as a member organization of um, many orga 108 organizations and researchers in 2016. Right now, uh, we have gone through a growth of about 347%. And in 2022, we are at 841 members. Well, um, the most important question here is what does it mean to be a um, cs for member, right? Well, uh, the process is very simple. All you need to do is go to our website and register as a member. Uh, our team would review your application and then your profile gets, once approval is done, the, your profile gets published on a member directory. And then you have the full access to the full benefits of being a cs for member. And, and the other thing is it's free. Uh, it's, uh, you don't have to, uh, there is no fee associated to it because we want everyone to have access to this, um, to the, the opportunities that come through being a part of this community. Uh, well, the, when we think about the way we could serve this community, it's through a, a three-pronged approach. One is to ensure that all members get to learn about what's happening within the larger CS land, landscape. And then uh, the next level is to engage with them uh, at, at local, regional, as well as national uh, levels with every stakeholder. And then uh, the finally, be not just engage, the next step would, after that, the next step would be to collaborate among themselves on different initiatives to deliver scaled impact that is measurable and sustainable. And we do this, um, sorry, if you could go back to the sli previous slide, please. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so the way we achieve this is through the various mechanisms that we currently run. 
Uh, we have the summit, uh, which is the, national, the annual national convening. And then we have an amazing comms team uh, who run all our uh, com, uh, like com traditional communications as well as social media channels. We have a newsletter that goes out every month uh, to inform our community of what's happening. Uh, then of course there are webinars, uh, Slack and emails for uh, regular communications. We also do office hours where um, on request, if anyone would like to know more about being a part of this uh, membership program or in general, be connected with anything uh, for anything within the community. This is like the, the go-to place. And then of course we have specific programs like script, JROTC and accelerator, which are catered to specific stakeholders with specific goal, goals. Excuse me. And uh, then, of course, we have a variety of digital tools, uh, which I'll go through later, um, which are at the moment open to everyone. But at the same time, um, the, the, the sourcing happens through our members. Um, and then there are research partnerships and publication and eventually um, even collaborations like this. They would like to celebrate and, of course, support our partners. And uh, so the, the way we um, work towards like the different uh, members, uh, the way we build our program is uh, by categorizing the members into different uh, types. So we will have, as you can see here, there are various member types. Uh, the whole point of doing that is so that uh, we are able to customize the services that we provide for them. Um, and uh, most of them are uh, like what you can read it, read it here. Uh, so education associations, for example, are all the regional education associations, which include school districts, state departments, um, school networks, et cetera. And then teacher prep programs are essentially um, schools of education. Next slide. And um, these are the, the digital tools uh, that we currently have and that are more in the making. Uh, firstly, the, the member directory. Um, this is where uh, once you become a member, you uh, have a pro you create a profile and once it's approved, um, you uh, get published here. Uh, and then if you're a specific type of member like MadLearn, if you're a content provider, uh, you submit your curricula with us and um, our reviewers would take a look and see if it's aligned to the K2CS framework. And if yes, uh, it gets published on a curriculum directory. And you will also notice uh, a blue uh, check mark uh, if that is your case. Next slide. And uh, the other um, tools that we have is CS for Ed. Um, this is specifically focused for schools of um, education. Um, so here you have like a nation, national uh, level map of uh, the different um, teacher preparation program across the country and um, whether they offer CSCT uh, specific programs as well. You can see, you can um, go into this map and look at that. Um, and then, of course, we have the commitments directory. Uh, this is the whole database of all the commitments made uh, since 2017. And um, you also have a data visualization which shows it across the state. And uh, speaking of commitments, um, so commitments are like one of the offerings that we do for, for uh, a CS Pro community. And they are essentially a call to action um, where we ask the, these uh, commitment making organizations to uh, come, with, uh, come up with a new specific and measurable action, which is aimed at the goal of advancing um, a rigorous and inclusive uh, CS education for all. Uh, and at the same time, think about uh, like building sustainable K-12 uh, CS education systems, both in and out of school. Um, yeah, so this is how uh, we've had uh, both, uh, this is the, the spread of all the organizations and the number of commitments we have uh, received across the year. Uh, well, um, the the again coming back to the why of CS troll commitments, right? So, uh, the the way we uh, think about it, it, this is that um, we uh, what CS troll can do for organizations within the community is provide a national platform uh, to announce these CS efforts, so that organizations who have never um, come before together to collaborate on certain initiatives have an opportunity to do that. Uh, essentially, we like to connect our new partners from the CS community uh, and uh, ensure that the, the impact of the work as well as uh, their footprint is like multiplied through this program. Uh, one big part of the commitments program is highlighting their stories. Um, again, uh, a comms team does a great job of using all the various uh, comms channels that you can see here, be it social media, webinars, 
uh, traditional media outlets, summit, and also press, uh, through a press release. Uh, we make sure that all these commitment stories are highlighted throughout the year. And uh, also another big um, step this year is uh, starting from um, 2023, we are also planning to measure impact. Last year, we did a pilot study with the 2020 cohort of commitment makers. And based on the success, we have decided to like create a full-fledged process around that and help our commitment makers capture their story as well. And Shri, for, uh, you mentioned comms team, Nadia from cs for all is here in the chat. Uh, she's amazing. Um, Shri, for the sake of time, I want to be respectful of, of time. So I'm just going to quickly go through um, some of the commitments that Shri was talking about here from, from the perspective of all, all of us here as different organizations, schools, districts, nonprofit, for-profit companies can make a cs for all commitment. So I highly encourage you to please consider making a CS for All commitment this year. Um, there is an amazing process they have, a wizard they take you through to help you figure out how to make a commitment. But I want to highlight five commitments that Madlearn made um, last year. There are 2022 commitments. Um, these are the five different commitments that we made. We do have a, a blog post that talks about this as well. So you can read a little bit more about what our commitments are. Two of them, I'm very, very happy to announce today, we have already accomplished and already achieved. So one of them is actually launching a design thinking integrated platform for students to build app develop to, to build apps. So that was one of our goals. That was one of our commitments. We did achieve that. We launched it officially today. And we're so glad to have CS for all here uh, with us to celebrate that. Another commitment that we made was to provide $10,000 in grants to teachers around the world to help bring app development into their classrooms. So we did that. We ran that over the holidays and we have teachers from Virginia, Washington State, Florida, Colorado, and Kenya um, who were the recipients of that grant. So very happy to announce two of those um, commitments that have been made. Um, but uh, Shri, tell, tell us about this information here. Thank you. So um, the thing is, the commitments for this year are, are not launched yet. It's on April 13th. Um, so all you, what you can do is uh, sign up uh, here um, and you will receive the, um, a notification or if all updates related to the launch, which is coming up soon. And then there are wa various ways you can stay in touch with the cs community. First, of course, is to be a member. And then uh, there are other uh, links I can share with you. Uh, to be if you're already a member or a commitment maker there are various ways we can feature your work um, and um, again um, if you have any questions if you're unsure where to begin all you need to do is just email to membership at cs for all um, and yeah thank you thank you, Alifia. Thank you for this opportunity of course thank you Shri, for being here with us